Hello, and welcome to Marsden. We are headed for Spa Reservoir. And it's just started raining. I was planning on parking in the Stand Edge car park next to the train station, but it's closed today. I have no idea why, and they couldn't really help me with an alternative car park, so I've just found a side street to park on. It's very busy round here. It's been dry all the way over, and now it starts raining. It was supposed to bucket down all day, though. I think it's Sunday the 24th of September today. It's about 19 degrees, still quite warm. Here is the canal. So the car park is just down there. Let's see if we can get to the canal path this way. God, I'm out of breath already. Still recovering from COVID, so just a short walk today. There's not a lot of water in this canal. Don't think I could swim in that. Locks. Ah, here we go. Spath Reservoir is rather special because as far as I know, it's one of only two reservoirs in the north where you can swim legally. And the other one is up a big hill. So I'm saving that one for a slightly less windy and rainy day. Although I imagine it's always windy up there. Ooh, bit of blue sky poking through. That wasn't in the forecast. This canal has a lot of locks, many, many locks. I believe there is space for one or two cars to park right next to the reservoir. But I thought I'd be sensible and park in the big free car park. That did not work out so well today. I have no idea how far it is. But the reservoir is right next to the canal. So as long as we keep following the water, we can't go wrong. And I'm hoping we can find a riverside path for the walk back. But I don't know if such a thing exists. Maybe not. Will there be anyone else swimming here? in this weather. Who knows? I believe it is a very popular swimming spot and I think we might have found it. Not much space for parking here. I'm glad I did the walk. Welcome to Spath Reservoir. People have swum here for generations. Today it is still popular for outdoor swimming. Apparently this water was tested a couple of weeks ago and there is no blue-green algae here today, if my information is correct. Can I swim in it? Oh, were they swimming? They look like they've been swimming. I'm not sure how much of this swim you guys are going to be able to see because I don't really want to leave my bag on the path in everybody's way. And also it is now raining sideways, so I don't really want the camera to get wet. But trust me, I am getting in. I don't think you could see any of that, but I promise I was swimming. I wasn't just hidden behind this wall. There are the stairs to get in, and then it gets very deep. Beautiful though, lovely, lovely swim. And the sun has come out, and there was a beautiful rainbow just over there while I was swimming. So nice. There is a young man demonstrating the swimming and where the steps are to get out. We got cows, big cows, safely on the other side of this fence. Oh, is this the path to the river? Do I have to walk through the cows? Oh my god, let's do it while there's another human down there. Okay, don't make eye contact. Look at me walking through the cows, being all brave. I'm utterly terrified right now actually, but I really want to get to the riverside path. There is the river. Looks like a bit of a weir up there. 
Can't get to it this way though. Oh, spooky tunnel. Nice little pond. Love those cute multicoloured houses over there. That's very pretty. How cute is that? Little rainbow sunshine dog. That's adorable. How random. Well, there didn't appear to be a riverside path. So we're walking back along the main road. Little hut. Public footpath. Let's go this way. Oh, it's a healing and well-being centre. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Oh, a little waterfall. Cute. Oh, it's very muddy. There's a big weir over there. Let's go look at that. Well, the ducks are loving it. Doesn't look so appealing to swim here, though. Let's see what happens in Marsden. We've got yoga, cheese and wine, anti-racism, jazz, swing, craft. Sunday slapstick with the silent film festival. I don't know much about Marsden, but I suspect it's a little bit hipster. And being so close to Manchester and Leeds, it's probably very expensive to live around here. Well, I'm back at the car. I've been here about two hours and walked about 5K, but what a lovely reservoir swim in the rain and the sun that was. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.